Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. One of the most valuable tools for a Mac is the Menu Bar Items Organizer, Bartender. I taught you about Bartender 4 in January 2021, and there's been another huge upgrade with Bartender 5. I'm going to go through the basics rather quickly, since the tool is likely familiar to most people, and then we'll jump into the new capabilities. The main problem Bartender solves is that we have so many menu bar items that they can fill up smaller screens, such as on a laptop. Bartender allows us to hide some of the items and reveal them only when we need them. Bartender 5 is required for macOS Sonoma. If you own Bartender 4, you may be eligible for upgrade pricing. But if this is your first time purchasing, Bartender 5 only costs $16 US from MacBartender.com. As you can see, I have a quite cluttered menu bar with all of the apps I have installed. You don't normally see this in Screencast Online videos because we all use Bartender to hide the icons to create a more distraction-free interface for you. I'll launch Bartender 5. And now while you never saw the Bartender interface, you can see the menu bar become rearranged and now we have the clean menu bar you're used to seeing in Screencast Online tutorials. I'll right click on the three dot icon in the menu bar that represents Bartender and then launch its settings. Because this is mostly an update show, I'll go through these settings quickly as I mentioned and I'm actually going to start at the bottom of the general tab. You may notice that right now we can see a purple icon in the menu bar. If I tap on that icon, you'll see that macOS Sonoma is telling me that the screen is being recorded by ScreenFlow. This is a privacy feature that will also tell you if your microphone is being captured. The reason I'm bringing it to your attention is that you will also see that recording icon when configuring Bartender. This is because Bartender needs to capture an image of your menu bar items in order to function. And Apple does not allow this little icon to be disabled. I would recommend starting Bartender at login. There are several ways to see hidden menu bar items. I can click in the empty menu bar space and you'll see all of my menu bar items come flying out to the left, nearly filling my menu bar. On my personal account, they more than fill the menu bar. If I scroll or swipe down on my trackpad in the blank space of the menu bar, that also exposes my hidden menu bar items. You'll notice that those are both controlled by the two switches in the general settings. If I toggle on the hover switch, I can simply hover over the empty space and the menu bar items appear. You can set the delay before showing on hover and you can choose whether they automatically rehide. Personally, I like to be more intentional on showing my menu bar items, so I'll toggle hover back off. By default, Bartender has a menu bar item. You can change the look from the three dots to any of the options I'm showing you here in the dropdown, including choosing your own image. You can also toggle off the menu bar item. You'll see that it still works to click on the empty menu bar space to see your hidden items. And if you need to see the bartender settings, you can launch it by right clicking in the empty menu bar area. You can have a divider show between your hidden and always shown menu bar items. In my example, I have all menu bar items hidden, so the chevron is on the far right. Recent versions of macOS have very wide spacing between menu bar items, and Bartender can override these settings. If you choose to change these settings, you'll need to log out of macOS and back in to see the change. One of the coolest features of Bartender 5 is that you can tailor your menu bar items for different screens. If you have a small screen laptop that you hook up to a large display, you can use the toggle to show all menu bar items based on the size of the attached screen. I can't really demonstrate this in the video, but you can see my built-in display and my external display, and I could slide to change the breakpoint. You can also have all menu bar items hidden on inactive menu bars. At the bottom, we have a toggle to enable the bartender bar, which is a secondary menu for hidden items. And now when I click in the menu bar, you can see that it drops down the secondary bar, which I find to be a much more practical way of showing your hidden items than sliding them out to the left, where they may run into the left menus or get hidden by the notch. I'll leave that toggled on. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week. 
as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.